Imagine a town painted red, not with paint, but with tomatoes. Welcome to La Tomatina, the world's largest tomato fight. Every year, the streets of Bunol, Spain become a sea of red as thousands of people from all corners of the globe partake in this unique and exhilarating tradition. It's a festival like no other, where chaos meets camaraderie and where tomatoes are more than just a salad ingredient. So, how did this tomato toss tradition start? Let's dive in. Our tomato tale begins in 1945, during a local feast in Bunol. On a day of celebration, a group of friends decided to spice things up a bit. A harmless prank turned into a full-blown food fight when the friends started hurling tomatoes at each other, painting the town red, quite literally. The exhilarating and messy tomato fight was such a hit, it spontaneously repeated year after year, marking the humble beginnings of what we know today as La Tomatina. In the early years, La Tomatina was simply an impromptu celebration among locals, but as word spread, people from neighbouring towns started joining in on the fun, turning this small-town tradition into a grand spectacle. However, not everyone was amused by this tomato-tossing frenzy. Concerned about public order, the authorities put a stop to the festival in the early 50s. But you know what they say, you can't keep a good festival down. Despite the prohibition, the spirit of La Tomatina lived on. In 1957, the townsfolk held a mock funeral for a giant tomato, parading it through the streets in a coffin, followed by a band playing mournful dirges. This humorous protest caught the authorities' attention, leading to the festival's reinstatement in 1959. Since then, La Tomatina has evolved into an internationally recognised event, attracting thousands of tourists from around the globe. In 2002, it was declared a festivity of international tourist interest by the Secretary Department of Tourism due to its popularity and cultural significance. Now, every last Wednesday of August, Bunyol becomes a battlefield, with over 150,000 tomatoes serving as ammunition. From a local feast to an international spectacle, La Tomatina has indeed come a long way. It's a testament to the power of tradition, the allure of the unusual, and the universal appeal of a good, messy tomato fight. Fast forward to today, La Tomatina is a festival marked with anticipation and excitement. The day begins with the traditional Palo Jabon, a ham pole climb. This involves a greased pole topped with a Spanish ham. The game? To climb the slippery pole and claim the ham. It's a sight that brings laughter and cheers, setting a jovial mood for the day. As the morning sun ascends, so does the energy in Bunyol. The air is thick with anticipation. Everyone knows what's coming, and they can hardly wait. The excitement reaches a fever pitch when the first truck, loaded to the brim with ripe tomatoes, enters the town square. Then the moment everyone has been waiting for arrives. A water cannon fires, piercing the air with a thunderous boom. This is the signal, the start of the world's biggest tomato fight. In an instant, the town square transforms into a battlefield and the air is filled with flying tomatoes and laughter. Now there are rules to this grand tomato melee. For one, all tomatoes must be squashed before they're thrown. This is to ensure that no one gets hurt during the festival. It's not about winning or losing, it's about having fun and safety is paramount. Participants also wear protective gear, including goggles and gloves, to keep the fun safe and enjoyable for everyone. The tomato slinging madness lasts for exactly one hour. As quickly as it started, it ends. Another blast from the water cannon signals the conclusion of the tomato fight. But the festival is far from over. The cleaning process begins and in no time, the streets of Bunyol return to their pristine state, as if the tomato tornado never happened. As the water cannons signal the end, the streets of Bunyol are awash in a sea of red. The laughter subsides and a sense of satisfaction sets in. The participants, though exhausted, are exhilarated. They've just taken part in a tradition that's as fun as it is unique, a tradition that paints the town red, quite literally every year. Beyond the tomato chaos, La Tomatina holds significant cultural and economic importance. This jubilant event, painting the town red, is more than just an annual spectacle. It's a vital cog in the machine that powers Bunyol's economy. Imagine, if you will, the influx of tens of thousands of visitors each year, each eager to partake in the world's largest tomato fight. These visitors are not just participants, they are consumers. They stay in local hotels, eat at local restaurants, shop from local stores, and bring a considerable boost to the local economy. The town, 
which usually has a population of around 9,000, swells to over 10 times its size during this event. But the impact of La Tomatina extends beyond the economic sphere. Culturally, it's a symbol of Spain's vibrant and unique identity. The festival is a celebration of joy, unity and, of course, tomatoes. It's an event that has captured the world's imagination, putting the small town of Buñol on the global map. Around the world, when people think of Spain, they think of flamenco, bullfighting and La Tomatina. The festival has become a part of Spain's cultural fabric, a tradition that represents the country's spirit of fun and camaraderie. La Tomatina, more than just a tomato fight, is a boost for Buñol and a badge of honor for Spain. So, you're thinking of joining the tomato madness? Here are some tips to get the most out of La Tomatina. First things first, dress for mess. White shirts are a tradition, but remember, they won't stay white for long. Pair your shirt with comfortable shoes that you won't mind getting tomato stained. And don't forget your goggles to keep those tomato juices out of your eyes. Now, on to what to bring. Pack light. All you really need is a waterproof camera to capture those unforgettable moments. Also, consider bringing a waterproof bag for your belongings. Remember, everything you bring is likely to get a tomato bath. Navigating the crowds can be tricky. The key is to stay relaxed and go with the flow, literally. The crowd moves like a wave, so don't resist it. And if you're not a fan of tight spaces, you might want to stay on the outskirts of the action. But La Tomatina isn't just about the tomato fight, it's about the community. It's about the shared laughter, the camaraderie and the collective joy of thousands of people coming together to paint the town red. There's a unique sense of unity in the tomato-soaked chaos. Strangers become friends, laughter is contagious and for one day, everyone is equal in the face of flying tomatoes. It's a feeling that's hard to describe, but once you experience it, you'll never forget it. Testimonials from attendees echo this sentiment. Many describe La Tomatina as the most fun they've ever had, a day filled with pure, unadulterated joy. And despite the mess, the chaos and the tomato in places you'd rather not mention, they wouldn't trade their experience for anything. In conclusion, if you're planning to attend La Tomatina, prepare for a day like no other. Dress appropriately, bring only the essentials and be ready to embrace the madness. Remember, it's not just about throwing tomatoes, it's about the people you meet, the laughter you share and the memories you create. Embrace the chaos, enjoy the camaraderie, and don't forget to squash those tomatoes. La Tomatina, a celebration of joy, unity, and a whole lot of tomatoes, continues to captivate the world. The streets of Bunol once a year transform into a canvas of red, painting a picture of community, camaraderie, and vibrant chaos. It's a spectacle that transcends borders, inviting people from all walks of life to join in the riotous fun. Whether you're a tomato-throwing enthusiast or just a curious spectator, La Tomatina is a spectacle worth seeing. Until then, keep exploring, keep learning, and stay curious.